Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Looking at Facebook on the daily and weekly time frame, so yet another rejection from the upper Bollinger Band. We didn't get too significant of a pullback. We did first thing right out of the gate. There was a big red candlestick, but then the bulls did buy the dip. It's a doji, which after this little bounce does favor the bears because of that upper Bollinger Band, and we've seen it time and time again. There are instances where the bulls can break out above the upper Bollinger Band, but way more often than not, we know we get rejected from that level, unable to close above it. Just like early October, two rejections, and here we are with two rejections again. If we break the low of 129.50, we'll look for a pullback to the 10-day moving average in the low 29 range, and we'll wait for these Bollinger Bands to ascend to create room to the upside. We're on the verge of a bullish MACD cross, but without big-time volume, more than 17 million shares traded, the bulls are not going to be able to get above this level. So it's useful information to look back at the history and see what happens when the price can't get above this upper Bollinger Band, because today, I knew not to be looking bullish with price right under that level. If the price was above 130, I know that there's not significant upside because the upper Bollinger Band is right there. And I could tell that we didn't have the volume by comparing the volume in the first hour for a couple hours of today compared to yesterday. It's very easy to compare volume and, and get a good sense on whether or not you're going to see increased volume or not. So the weekly time frame is still very bullish, bouncing off the 10-week moving average perfect long-term trend for the bulls with resistance of 130.70, 130.73, and 131.90 at the all-time high. The chart is set up for the bulls heading into earnings. And what I mean by that is that all it takes is one little bullish reaction like we've seen in the past, and we get blue sky breakout with no resistance levels to be watching, no previous price resistance, and the bulls in full control. So with two weeks to go into earnings, it's as long as we hold this 10 moving average, the chart is set up for the bulls. That doesn't mean we're going to see a bullish reaction, but it does lean slightly in that favor. I wouldn't call it a 50-50 guess because of the chart leading up to it. I would put slight odds, maybe 55% favoring bulls because of the chart setup. And we've seen it plenty of times play out very well, and we'll see if it plays out again this time. Facebook on the shorter term time frame. So a lot of choppy action today, back and forth and in line with SPY, higher lows and then lower highs, tightening range forming. I was watching the hourly chart very closely because this 20 period moving average held as support the first four hours of today. And then actually it held again another fifth hour there. And then we did lose it at the end of the day. So that does show a little bit of weakness, not significant weakness, not a big dump or anything like that. But if we were to pull back and break 129.87 below this candlestick, then we are going to be looking down to 129.50, the low of today. So checking all time frames is certainly helpful. This hourly 20 period was a really good guide here, showing strength and bulls buying the dip all for the first half of the day. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you then.